So this is a new leaked legend called Uplink, who is apparently our satellite saviour, and his abilities are pretty interesting. So let me know what you think of them in the comments, and also let me know what you think could be the lore that would link Uplink to Apex Legends. But let's start off with a passive, very simple, but it's called Network Communion. Now it says that you gain 25% of recovery effects used in signal range. And what that means is within a certain radius, if any of your teammates use shield cells, shield bats, med kits, or syringes, or phoenix kits, or even the new shield capacitors that might be coming to the game soon, then you will receive 25% of the effects. Now on screen in the background, you're seeing what the effects are for each different item. As you can see, obviously, if someone pops a shield cell, it's very minuscule, but it all does add up, and it's a very useful passive in my opinion. Then we move to the tactical. Now this one might be a little controversial. It's called Shield Satellite, and this one releases a satellite that follows allies to regenerate their shields and revive them. So it's basically a lifeline drone, but for shields, and it moves and follows you, and yeah, it does a lot more than the lifeline drone, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. It means that you could pair this with lifeline so that you could have a super healing station. You could heal health and shields all at the same time and fully charge your teammates up, ready to get back in the fight. How cool would that be? Actually, let me rephrase that. How broken would that be? But as you can see, it follows you in the air. It kind of flies with you. So maybe it can be broken if people shoot at it. And then obviously with it being in the air, that does mean that it's obviously a lot more visible and maybe easier to break. And that could balance it a little bit. But yeah, it's basically a lifeline drone that follows you, but it revives your shields instead. And the fact that it can revive as well seems like, you know, if it's already following someone, if they go down, it will start the revive. Which could actually be quite annoying in some situations because maybe you want to crawl somewhere before you get revived. Who knows how it will work. But then we move over to the ultimate, which is called Immortality Relay Beacon. Again, a bit of a controversial one. It is a deployable satellite beacon that prevents allies in the signal area from being downed. And it looks like you get this immortality effect for 45 seconds. Now I'm hoping this beacon can be destroyed, just like how a Watson ult can. Now if it can't, then this is absolutely broken, but let's be honest, it should be able to be destroyed. But this is really, really useful in a team fight, especially a close combat one at that. You throw this down and you literally cannot die. So you could get a whole R99 mag to the face and you'll still just be stood there like, hey, it's my turn now. So yeah, what do you think of Uplink? Now, in my opinion, they are very powerful, but I do think they have their own ways of being balanced. So I think that it could actually be viable in the game. But anyway, that's all we have on Uplink. Let me know if you're excited for Uplink to come to the game. And that's it from me. So subscribe if you've been liking these new legend videos.